That's right, Tom. The first battle of the domes, domes of the Cody Hawkins era. Idaho head coach Jason Eck looking to defend the Kibbe Dome, and uh, even without their star quarterback for that matter. Yeah, so they'd get it started with the run game. Anthony Woods rumbles in from seven yards out, the first of two TDs he would have. But I want to show you that Vandal defense because they were also superb. They pulled down four interceptions. Here's one from Kyron Beecham. I remind you, Idaho State, statistically the best passing team in the FCS. The Vandals would continue to pour it on. Giovanni McCoy was unavailable, but redshirt freshman Jack Lane got the start and was not afraid to sling it. Letting it fly there to Hayden Hatton, the All-American wide receiver, splitting the defenders to come down with his first of two touchdowns on the game. Lane would tally up six total passing touchdowns. That tied a record set by Mason Petrino. In the end, Idaho dominates their cross-state ri rivals. They racked up four sacks, outgained the Bengals 579 to 304 yards capped it all off with a 63 to 21 win. Uh, maybe this is why the Vandals were out to make a statement because the news gets better today. The FCS selection committee named Idaho the number four seed in the FCS national playoffs. You can see right here the guys super excited to find out that news early this morning. That means that the Vandals will get a first round bye. Then they will host a second round matchup. They will play the winner of Southern Illinois and Nichols. Yeah, so this is Idaho's 13th ever FCS playoff appearance their 16th overall postseason appearance, but mostly it's the first time since 1994 that the Vandals have gone to the playoffs in back-to-back -back years. Head coach Jason X shared his thoughts after the celebration this morning. Uh, just a great um, recognition of all the work they really put in over the last two years and uh, you know very excited about the opportunity that's in front of us. I think this is a, a well-deserved and needed bye week. Uh, very excited to have a, a home game in the playoffs for the first time in about 30 years. So uh, what a great opportunity for our program and I'm uh, just so happy for our players. Again, what a difference a week makes. A week ago at this time, they suffered a really tough loss at Weber State, and there was kind of a question mark about what their destiny looks like looked like when it came to the FCS playoffs. A huge statement by hanging 63 on Idaho State, and now the Vandals earn a first round by much deserved. Jason Eck continues to work his magic in Moscow. Yeah, and Cody Hawkins talking a little bit of smack last week, saying that Holt Arena was the superior dome. I. I feel like they might have taken that personally. Still really so. impressed with what he's done at Idaho State. Agreed. Both those guys doing a great job at their respective universities.